Victoria from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm a little bit croaky, so I've got my tea. So please forgive me if I keep going and having a swig of tea. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do some stamping. And you're going to help me decide which of these papers and well i know which paper but we need to know what card base we're going to use and what mat we're going to use and the colors that we're using is crumb cake merry merlot God, i'm so glad i got merry merlot back out uh and rococo rose three gorgeous colors that fit together can you guess can you guess which suite i'm looking at now maybe not depends on whether you're in a fifiado of the catalogue or not but if you're not I can tell you it's path of petals that's what we're looking at today so I'm here to show you all of the fabulous papers we'll get that to that one in a minute and this is one side of the papers it's very floral and I was kind of like mm, okay am I going to like this and it's not my favorite I'm going to be completely honest with you it's not my total favorite but it is lovely <laughs> and we're going to make some lovely cards this is the back of those papers okay so if you get the whole um, pack which obviously you would do then you'll get 12 sheets okay they're all double-sided so as you can see this is the other side oh, I know it's pretty isn't it um, so you get 12 sheets this on one side this on the other and as you can see, one of these sheets looks a bit weird, and that's this one. And this one is basically, it's a bit like that petal promenade stuff we had last year. This is to cut out. They're all they're all ready-made um, frames, toppers, things to put on your cards. Isn't that cool? So I'll show you how to cut this one. And then I thought we would use just a little bit of this one and one of the other things that's in the suite so we'll pop all those away again but they are lovely really lush so the other thing that you can get in this suite is this gorgeous little journal okay and this is called um just i think it's just called pretty petals journal i mean it's not exactly or path of petals journal something like that but the amazing thing about this is it's pre-printed. So this says, um, the secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. I love the phrases in this because it really goes with my ethos of being happy and everything else falls into place. Grateful for small things, big things and everything in between. So you can use it as a gratitude journal. You can use it as a um, happiness journal, a day-to-day -day journal. Find the beauty in everyday moments. You could use it as um, something that you use and take on holiday. Some of it's already pre-printed. See here with this beautiful stuff in here. Um, so it's nice and it repeats itself. So that's good. But what I also like is that these pages are perforated. So you can take tear them out and use them in um, your scrapbooking. Or you can take them out and use them as a card front. So you could just take that straight away and use that as a card front. Or you could take that piece and use it as a, journ uh, a journaling piece in a scrapbook page. So it's really cute. And it's got this gorgeous embossed front cover and back cover. Brilliant as gifts for people, especially if you know someone who journals every day or somebody who um, scrapbooks a lot. You know, I mean, look at these. Uh, or makes cards a lot. I mean, they're just so pretty. And they're just so many gorgeous colours. I love that one. That. So, yeah, so that's the little journal. So I have shown you a picture of the one that's Stamping Up decorated. I will be decorating my own one. Uh, hi, Linda. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you joining in. Um, and I will... Um, I'll show you that once I've done it and then I will use some of those pages on cards and things but today I wanted to make a card using this paper the cardstock so you need to tell me am I going to make my base out of these are your three options crumb cake merry merlot or rococo rose you tell me which one you want me to use and I'll show you the stamp set while you're doing that so you you type that in 
Hey, Jenny's on. Hi, nice to see you. Um, so you type in which colour you want me to use as a card base. I'm going to be using uh, some of the things, I think, from Path of Petals. Maybe just the thank you, or maybe your kindness has touched my heart, or maybe best wishes on your joyful day. I don't know. Uh, there's lots of other things in here. I mean, it's really a sympathy card, I guess, or something to help people um, set, not cards, something to help people lift their, lift their spirits. Here's to all, and also weddings. Here's to all, always finding joy in one another's laughter, warmth in one another's embrace, and love in one, one another's lives. I mean, that's a brilliant thing for a wedding card inside. And here, hoping you can find strength for today and peace for tomorrow. Again, a great um, sympathy card. So sympathy and weddings and thanks all in one set, which is quite cool. And we did a three-step stamping card in my class yesterday which you'll see wednesday on my video on youtube so that's the stamp set nobody's told me any colors come on give us a color i need to know otherwise i won't know what color to use i might also use some of the words from this month's um blends club which was bloom and grow you are simply wonderful is a lovely i love that sentiment thank you from the bottom of my heart let's celebrate you and forever starts today so some beautiful sayings on there as well okay so i'm going to start chopping and i'm going to show you i'm just going to make three card bases since none of you are telling me what you would like me to make <laughs> or more likely facebook isn't telling me what you're telling me so that's annoying so here we go. We're going to cut this at 14.9, which is what I always cut my cardstock at. Okay. That will give me two Rococo Rose bases, two Merry Merlot. And if you don't tell me what you prefer, then I'm just going to make it up myself. Um, then we'll go from there. Uh, that's your Merry Merlot. And then this is crumb cake and i've got some bit of pear pizzazz i might use as well i don't know but the other thing that i'm going to be using is the ribbon that we saw that i showed you right at the very beginning oops now this ribbon looks like nothing in the catalog but when you get it in your hands you see that actually this is all gold in the center of this it's gold and shiny can you see that and then it's got this thin Rococo rose edging to it. It's a lot prettier than I thought it was. <laughs> and I ordered it by accident. So uh, I meant to get some of the scallop trim and ended up getting some of the rush ribbon instead. It's one of those happy accidents. So, oh, here we go. Finally, we've got some Merry Merlot from Jenny and some crumb cake from Deb. Okay, cool. Well, we can mix and match both of those, I think, with this. So this is a beautiful piece of ribbon, absolutely gorgeous. And it comes with, in the suite as well, a set of washi tape. OK, but it's washi tape like you've never seen washi tape before. This one's normal. This one's nice. It's kind of vintagey. It's crumb cakey. Um, it's got it's got things like uh, numbers, but it's also got st um, statements. As one red rose within a garden fair blossoms, sometimes and to perfection, blown amid the something or other. All that I know of love I learnt from you, and all I and I know all that friends ever knew. Okay, so there's kind of like weird things written on it, but it's it's basically from love poems, I think. That's where that comes from. But generally, who would know, especially if you chopped it off in half, you could even send that to a bloke, I reckon. Nobody would know. Uh, but the other washi tape is this washi tape. And this washi tape is weird because each part of this washi tape is actually an individual flower petal. Now, I know some of you have seen this on other, other things, but this is my first time out using this stuff. And I'm going to use it live on Facebook with you. <laughs> so anything could happen. So just bear with, OK? Um, I do know that it's always good if you have one of your stamping embossing buddies with you, because that was a tip from Stampin' Up. 
because these things are sticky. So you can make a flat flower and they're sticky all the way to the top. But if you want to make a flower that the petals are slightly curled away from the paper, if you run your embossing buddy over it, it stops it from sticking. So we'll do a bit of that too. So since Jenny said Merry Merlot and Deb said crumb cake, we're going to go with a Merry Merlot base and a crumb cake chopper. So there we go. And then I'm going to just chop myself a crumb cake topper. I love into I love it when you when you get into the spirit of things, girls and boys. So you know, keep sharing, keep answering my questions. Because it's much more fun. It feels like I'm at class then, just talking to people, which is great. We had a fantastic class. Big thanks to Debs on for class on Saturday. There was 15 plus me and Deb. So it was a busy, busy, busy class, but it was fun. And everyone seemed to have a good time, so that was good. And I had thought it was going to be, right, this is me just completely misreading how things are going to go, right? I thought it was going to be a quiet class because it's it's summer holidays, isn't it? Everyone's away, nobody's around. So I went back through last year and thought, oh yeah, it's quite quiet on a it's quite quiet on a um, a class at the end of July. So I'll throw in some techniques. Let's do a bit of stamparatus. Let's do a bit of heat embossing. Let's do a bit of watercoloring. <laughs> Because there won't be very many people and they can take their time. Yeah, and then we're absolutely packed full to the rafters. And we're all like, how do you do heat embossing? I had some new people who'd never done heat embossing before and had never done any kind of um, work with watercolouring before. So it was it was it was good. <laughs> it was a bit crazy, but we managed it. Big thanks to Debs. So, um, yeah, um, she kept us hydrated. We, she made sure that people knew how to use a stamparatus. So, you know, she's just honing her skills. So that's good. Right, now I'm going to put some berry vanilla on there. And I'm going to take a piece of berry vanilla for the inside, because I think with the Merry Merlot, we're going to need an inner. All right, try and make sure not to get them mixed up. And then I'm going to just chop off a piece of this. Yes, I'm cutting my DSP. Um, this paper is actually a speciality paper. You get 24 sheets. I've just remembered that. You don't actually get, um, it's not that you get uh, 12. You get 24, four of each. Uh, and they are all beautiful. I'm going to cut this at 14.4. I don't think it matters which way around it is. If I do, oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. So maybe I need to do 14.4 this way just to start off with. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll chop that there. And then I think I want a piece about, let's see. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Probably about five. Let's do five centimetres, which is two inches for anyone watching me later in the US. There we go. But for everybody else, it's five centimetres. We'll do five. Yeah. And then I'm going to just chop that down to 13.9. Go this way, I think. No, maybe this way. 13.9. So these are our layers, okay? So, we have our Merry Merlot card base, whoops, there we go. Then we have our crumb cake, 14.4 by 10 centimetres, yep. Then we have our berry vanilla, 13.9 by 9.5. And, and then we're cutting a strip of this to go on here, and that's 13.9 by 5. And we'll leave that like that. Then I'm going to put a piece of this glorious ribbon around here. I love this layout. Such a simple layout, but it's so easy and effective and works for everything. Then we're going to create a little flower to kind of sit up on here and put a sentiment along here. OK, with me so far? That seems fairly simple. Yeah. So let's do that. And as I say, I use this layout quite a lot just because it's an easy one to do. Simple measurements. Everybody knows what they are. But it still gives a nice 
eye pleasing view if you know what i mean so we'll pop that oh look i've done my worst thing ever i'm actually attaching i do that this is what i tell people not to do okay so don't do this <laughs> stamp first and then work out where it's going but in this case we can't stamp first and then work out where it's going because we need this on to be able to know where we're stamping so i tell you i tell you this is it's it's one of them this is going to be a <gasps> moment okay because it could all go horribly wrong <laughs> but hopefully it won't so we'll pop this on here there we go at least the weather's cooled down i'm very happy that the weather's cooled down although the sun is out it's nice today but it's not that horrid horrid hot 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 weather that we've been having which just it just kills me last week i was useless okay so sentiment wise i do like the you are simply wonderful but it's quite big so we need to see how big that is oh i might go with the flower though considering the flower is going to be quite big hmm. maybe or we just go with a little plain old thank you might be a bit small decisions decisions come on guys help me out here do we do thank you do we do you are simply wonderful or do we go to an old favorite perennial birthday and chuck a birthday on oh this one might work look at that there we go you can't see what it says but it says today blooms just for you that's the one see there's always one if you want if you don't want to do something that's in the set and sometimes you don't because i don't know anyone getting married this this year so i don't really want a wedding one and i like this one from the um this is one of my old clear mount sets but if you buy it it'll be in cling mount so you'll be able to actually see what it says but i like it because it's all kind of up and downy so it doesn't actually manage as long as you get it the right way up it doesn't matter whether you're straight or not <laughs> That's, so we like those don't we we like those stamps where we don't have to be too careful okay now i've just got a bit of scrap here that i'm just going to check how it looks and i think do i want to go into a cocoa rose or no i think i'm going to stick with mary merlot for this one what do we think is it looking good so far last one yes i think the last one i hope you're agreeing with me today see it's all sort of bouncy it's all today blooms just for you so that's good we'll do that one so i know where roughly my ribbon's going to sit so now i can position my stamping just above it tap 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 very lightly everyone says to me oh you do it so fast and it, i'd never know how um how uh, much pressure but literally i'm just tapping it to the surface no more than that you don't need to push down on any of our ink pads unless it's one of the ones that is a felt ink pad so a memento or a stays on they're the two that you have to press down on anything else it's literally just touching it to the top and taking it away and as long as that um the ink on there i don't know if you can see the ink is shiny can you see the ink being shiny i don't know if it's going to be there see see the ink i know you're getting a lot of glare but you see the ink is shiny as long as you can see it's shining that's it that's done so we'll just move this just to here we won't worry oh look at that that doesn't look too bad does it eh? you <laughs> so then we will um turn it over and i'm going to attach the ribbon and i have to tell you guys that the um oh i've lost it where's it gone ah i've taken the snail somewhere else i'm gonna have to use this i was going to i was going to tell you that the snail's back in which is fabulous news uh all the back orders being done i had one very happy customer who got four refills from me yesterday she's only been waiting for them for months but she has finally got them and she's a very happy lady so that's good so there we go because she says she can't find anything else that she likes as much as our glue and i have to agree i think our glue is the best is the best out there okay so there we go that's that and i'm not just saying that i really do think that the glue is the best out there just because it 
it just sticks so well especially this multi-purpose glue despite the fact it's now got horrendous hazardous warnings on it i'll still use it because <laughs> because it's never caused me any harm and i love it and it works great i mean this is quite nice just as a card as it is to be honest but i do feel like it needs a little bit of something and that's where this flower is going to come in you notice i'm sort of procrastinating and not getting to the flower because i've not done one of those yet so let's see how it goes okay <laughs> so turn it over for the back for the petals in fact the back ones i might just put mm, no i think i do want a bit of just add a bit of embossing buddy down and then oh it's still quite sticky a bit more that's better see now it's not sticky down there but still sticky here and then we'll just i'm going to start tucking it under here i think to start building my flower and ha your flower can be as big as you want it to be just need to find where the next one is on the list on the washi tape and pull gently and as you pull it's already curling see how clever this is i've never seen washi tape like this before i think it's fabulous and a very good addition to the set you can add this on top of a flower that you've already stamped okay there we go and we're just going to keep going right how many petals do we want to have six maybe okay take the next one you're all either avidly watching me and not paying and not typing anything or you've all got bored and run off and done something else are you still there is anybody there There we go, pop that down there. Now I'm going to start going over the ribbon. And we'll see how it goes over the ribbon. As I say, I haven't done this before. We're just going to, we're just winging it together live on Facebook. And we'll see if I can get this to stick over the ribbon. I think, I think it will. It feels really strong in terms of stickiness. And I like that it matches. There we go. It matches these flowers that are already on the papers so beautifully. I might start coming. Do I want to go around this way or do I want to come? I might want to. I think that's right. There we go. You can make it as detailed, as thick, as thin. You can add more. You can add extra uh, petals. <laughs> Nikki's fascinated. I know it's really bizarre, isn't it, Nikki? I mean, you're a scrapbooker, so you. You you will have seen lots of washi over the years, but I've never seen anything like this before. I think it's marvellous. <laughs> and such a it's almost a wow project without being anything particularly wow because you're just pulling off a bit of washi tape, but it has got that whole sense of how on earth did you do that? So pop that one on there. Yeah, here we go. Now now you're starting to see the real flower come together. And you could add as many layers as I said as you wanted. And then, oh, Debs is still on. <laughs> Have you used this, Deb? Have you got this? I don't know. I'll bring it round otherwise. And you can you can have a go. I mean, I don't know how many. I think there is something like 200 petals on this. That's the number that seems to be in my head. So 200 petals just in this one single roll of washi tape. There we go. And then because these have got a centre, I think we need a centre. Um, I think it will look better with one of those. And we've got, those are kind of yellow. So we've got this one, which could go on there. It's quite large. Or we could add a faceted. <laughs> yes, you can play. We can use a facet, one of these faceted. How about a faceted Rococo rose middle, maybe? Mm. Mm. Or I'm trying to think of things that I've got that are that big. Here we go. Oh, oh, designer elements. 
these are pretty and i think this would go these would go better i think i think the yellow goes better with this yellow but it's a bit big in my view or we could just pop one of these lovely which do we think you can't really see those can you so we've got a choice of these lovely designer element centers which are very pretty a fluffy one or a plain rococo rose one what are your thoughts for that to put in the center of this flower i'm i'm edging towards the designer element or the fluffy yellow one the fluffy one makes it seem a little bit more cheery i don't know what this rococo rose one but that's very plain it's very plain <laughs> i don't if i take it off the white um, oh yeah maybe actually that does look that looks quite nice what do we think that one that one or that one fluffy rose or gold either give me a yeah don't give me a thumbs up because i've got no idea what, which one you're thumbing you're giving me a thumbs up for so just give me give me a name otherwise i'm going to just go with one and i think it's going to be i think actually it might be out of those two but i don't know i think i've got about a four or five second delay so i'm just going to hold here for a second of course i could <laughs> i could add more to the mix i could old could add an old good old faceted gem also possible i've got so many options oh here we go here we go right can you color the fluffy now well you probably could but i'm not sure what i'd color it with because there is quite a lot of yellow in the flowers on the paper uh, rose yellow and a bit of sparkle says angela well you guys are no help to me whatever are you because you've all got the different <laughs> okay well if i'm going to add sparkle it, it might even be one of these then what do we think how about oh no that's stuck to the card oh. how about one of those then that's a bit gold hmm i'm still not sure though it's either the fluffy i think or possibly the rococo rose one let's make a decision and go with rococo rose we'll leave the gold sparkly bit for that and then we'll i'll try coloring the fluffy ones another day and see whether that works <laughs> but i think they're yellow to be yellow so oh, lisa's gonna lisa's gonna go on on replay so now deb's is saying fluffy i don't know you change your mind deb she said rococo and then you change your mind and then you're back again i'm going to go rococo i'm going to make a decision am i going to go rococo it's very tricky so this is the bit that takes the longest on any card i don't know if it's the bit that takes you the longest on any card i think that's a bit too formal for what i'm after i think i need to see it upright no i think that takes away from the fluffy i mean from the from the fluffy i've got you got me saying fluffy now i think that takes away from the petals and it's the petals that i think i really want to show off so i'm going to go with a faceted joint joint no i keep calling them that a faceted gem there and then the focus is on the actual rose petals but we could add a little bit of bling sort of over here somewhere if we wanted to but i quite like it like that what do we think do we like hugs hearts other things yes oh chrissy says she's got the washi tape but she hasn't used it yet okay and i'm getting hearts so we're okay you good all righty so after all of that we use the in color faceted gems okay in color faceted gems um 
I just love that we've got so many different options though. But if you liked the fluffy, they're the perennial essence floral centers and they come in a little pot like this. Uh, and if you liked the gold ones, then these are the designer elements. They're just called designer elements and you get copper, silver and gold. Okay, but I think we've decided that we like this one. See how easy that was, apart from the decision on what to put in the center of the, of the flower. So simple. So very, very simple, isn't it? I've got a bit of dust on the back from my embossing buddy, but that will just disappear off. So yeah, so that's that one. Now, you could go wild with that. You could do a whole array of flowers. It would look beautiful. Uh, but if you don't have time to do any of that and you just want to make a really, really quick card, then you reach for these because they've already been done for you and all you need to do is add a sentiment but i'm going to show you how you chop it up okay so the first thing you do is you take off this piece here because you don't want to chop this bit up if you don't have to you want to leave it as long as you can for as long as you can until you know what you want to do with it okay so you chop that off like that all right then you turn it this way and you chop down this line here and i'm sorry that that's bright on the thing but it kind of has to be um so then you chop down this line here okay because you want to keep both pieces like you don't want to chop into this piece okay so then you turn it around and you chop on this side again oops make sure it doesn't move okay. like this okay and then you can chop these into individual pieces so you can find the end of that and then these make lovely little square toppers see that no oh, it's a bit shiny sorry get that out of the way right see see now beautiful square topper ready to go straight on your card so this is a really if you chop up the whole page which is what i'm going to do then you can just make some cards really quickly with these pieces now these pieces are fat and i don't mean that in a bad way but what i mean is the sizing of them is for the us okay so they are just they're five and a half by four and a quarter okay which for the uk is a bit too big so we need to trim ours down a little we're okay lengthways but widthways that's going to be a bit of an issue so the closest you can get is ten and a half and you need to trim both sides off okay and then it won't quite go to the bottom but i've got a fix for that so don't panic about that so we get that to ten and a half we're just trimming off just trimming off because it will cover the whole piece of your card front there's no two ways about that if you're if you really don't want it to cover the whole front of your card then you're going to need to come as close to these flowers as you possibly can okay to try and get it down to 10 and you can do it like this okay and like this oh she says ah no heavens oh i just made a right pig's ear of that hang on i'm gonna have to do that hold up i'm gonna have to get me a little guillotine out so that's the only way i'm gonna cut that okay oh that was my fault not that's my fault for not not setting it down correctly and i just caught the paper with my trimmer blade okay there we go there we go so you need a little guillotine sometimes just to save yourself so that's how you get it down to 10 so that you can um pop that straight on a card front okay these ones are not so tricky because this one you've got quite a lot to play with so you can easily take off like half a centimeter from one side and the paper is quite thin so just be careful with it i was rushing 
you know, there we go. So that's quite simple. These ones, not so much. So these ones you might want to think of for using for journaling or scrapbooking or something where a bigger piece is okay. Or you're just going to chop it and just go, actually, I'm going to chop it right down. Um, this one you could cut into a square and put onto a larger square card or you could make an a5 size card you know you don't have to stick to the a6 it's just i stick to a6 because it's easier for me and it's the card size that i i like okay so oh i didn't put an inner in there did i I need to put an inner in that one what shall we put on the inner uh, maybe we should put a few of these i wonder if i can get this flower to just pop yeah there we go so in the path of petals i'm talking to myself sorry in the path of petals stamp set there is this single flower oh, there's my... see having them above my head is marvelous there's this single rococo rose flower just um it's actually any flower but i'm going to make it rococo rose but there's this little flower that you can just pop there and then that will make a nice coordinating card base these flowers actually line up with the um sorry i need to show you what i'm doing these actually line up with the stem so it's a it's a two three step stamping so we had the stamparatus going on uh, a sunday afternoon i love my stamparatus for stuff like that uh, and it was really easy everyone just came up stamped in three different colors and there you go it was simple uh simple and easy to create a nice pretty card which as i said you'll see on you'll have to wait see on went on some uh wednesday this week so there we go put that in there oops better finish one off before i start the next day otherwise i'll have lots left to do there we go that's better yes flowers 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 cool so that's that one done so i was going to just show you how this piece that we've now chopped and mangled but don't worry i'll hide that um is going to look on a card base so what did i do with my other card bases here we go so let's go with the coco rose because that seems to match or you could do vanilla or daffodil or whatever you fancied what have i got here daffodil daffodil would look quite nice too but i'm going to go with the with the um the coco rose i think here just to show you if you hadn't made a complete pig's ear of chopping up the paper <laughs> you know it's live folks it's just it's, this is how i roll and uh, these are the things you don't necessarily see from me so i quite like it when you see that i'm not exactly perfect uh, um okay stamp press is amazing hey allison's on uh lisa says what was the ribbon you've used so this is the beautiful uh, rococo rose and it's called gathered ribbon so it's half inch or 1.3 centimeters gathered ribbon and it's the rococo rose one and you wouldn't know would you you wouldn't you wouldn't guess from the catalog that that had that beautiful gold on it not at all so here i'm going to make one that i won't photograph particularly well but it'll look all right um and i'm just going to pop it straight down on the card and then i'm going to put something on the edges to hide that nasty little tear down here that i made you know because it's real life now it is thin paper Ooh. <clears throat> told you real life it is thin paper so be careful it won't oh, go down necessarily perfectly but hey ho if you want to move it around a bit there we go so i'm going to cheat now that i've got that nasty bit down there and i'm going to just tuck my edges with a bit of washi as if i've just like held it down like that and a little bit up there 
almost as if it's pinned to my card and then we're just going to take my scissors and trim those extra bits off use your glue scissors don't use your nice scissors so just chop that piece off there chop that piece off there and then nobody would know well apart from all of you that stop sticking that uh, i'd made a mistake over there and that that corner was a bit mangled yeah because now it's got that nice washi tape on it it's making it look a little bit sort of rustic like that and then we'll put a sentiment straight in the middle yes Alison's been playing good I like that you've been playing in your new workshop that's great you spent a lot of time getting that ready Alison so it's good that you're playing okay so now let's have a look and see what would go in here and I think I mean, you could even turn it round, couldn't you? Actually, you could turn it round, but then I've made it a little bit longer that way. But no, I like it this way. I want it this way. And I think best wishes or just a plain thank you would work. Or sharing in your sorrow. Maybe for somebody who's lost somebody. Yes, that might well be the case. Let's do that. But sadly, sometimes you do need to have... And it doesn't have to be for a, a human loss. It could be for a, a pet loss, you know. So let's just do one of these. I'm going to take one of, get this ready. I'm going to take a swig of my tea, if you don't mind. Because I've been gassing for, oh, goodness knows how long. Wow, long enough for that to get cold. So, <laughs> too long, obviously. Now, what should we do this with? I think we're going to put this onto maybe a piece of crumb cake, actually. Come on. That's that one. I thought I brought all my pieces with me, but maybe not. Okay. So we'll use a bit of crumb cake that I've chopped up here. I think that we will find my pretty label punch. Oops, sorry. Oh dear, that was not me, that was the thingy. <laughs> right, and I think if we did a pretty label punch, that would fit nicely in the centre there. So let's do this. We're going to stamp with Merry Merlot, but we're going to stamp onto crumb cake. There we go. Stop singing, Pip. Nearly caught myself then. That's nice. Sometimes we forget that we can stamp onto cardstock. And yet, it's such a lovely thing to do. You know, we always stamp on Whisper White or um, Very Vanilla or whatever. And we forget that actually stamping onto coloured cardstock can make such a nice sort of sentimenty kind of thing going on. And then we'll put something... Um, I know it says sorry, but I still want to add, I think something nice behind yeah see i still think that would be okay maybe a gold one have i got a gold one let's go reaching through my little tub let's root through my tub of things oh i've got a daffodil delight that i could put in there well that might look nice actually what do we think of that what do we think? Give me thoughts, give me ideas, give me suggestions. What else have I got? I'll see what else I've got in my little tub. Why do you think about that? I'm sure I had some copper circles in here somewhere. I've got red, but that's not going to go very well. Uh, 
Hang on. Um, oh, that's ovals. Copper oval. Maybe a copper oval. Oh, that would be quite nice too. Oh, maybe that's nice. That's quite nice, don't you think? A copper, a little copper oval sharing in your sorrow. I think that's a bit, I think Daffy Dilda likes a little bit bright. Just a little bit bright. And I like the fact that we can just stick our ovals behind our punches and make them look lovely. So if we're all in agreement of that, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Sometimes having a few pre-punched and pre-cut um, images, um, die cuts and stuff like that, is really useful because it means you can try out a few different things. See, the only other thing I could think to do would be to maybe put some stitching behind it. But it's not really the right colour that I've got. I could go and get another colour, but you know. Or put some gold behind it. But I just think sparkly is maybe a little bit too bright if it's a sympathy card. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what were those hearts for? I missed the hearts. You need to tell me whether it's for the sparkly gold or whether it was for that green. Because that is quite nice, actually. The stitched. Or the copper. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. Don't make me make decisions. You help me. Tell me, copper or green? Embellishment opportunities. Yes, I know. So, Alison, which one's looking pretty? <laughs> Is it the copper that's looking pretty? Is it the green that's looking pretty? I'm getting hearts, but I still don't know which one it's for. Or is it the gold that's looking pretty? I'm guessing the hearts were for the copper. So, I'm going to go copper. Let's go copper. And then if you all change it and decide, tell me something different, you're going to send me off into a spin, I know. <laughs> but let's just, we have to make a decision because, you know, we've been going on some. So let's do this one. We will do some embellishments, I feel. Okay, now I'm getting lots of hearts, so I'm assuming I've made the right decision. So that's good. <laughs> I know sometimes it's, you're not in places where you can type and stuff. So I do understand, honest. Okay. I like the copper. Oh, green for sympathy. Oh, but now she likes the copper. Okay, so so now we're going copper, so that's good. So that's good. We're all happy, I think. If I can put it down properly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. About right there, I think. That's about is that about right? I can't see with my eyes. That's about central. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to pop that on there, pop that on there, and then I think I will use my copper designer elements to just pop in the corners there. Because that works beautifully. Because they look like daisies, you see. That's why I like them. They look like the daisies. So we'll pop a couple of these on. These are quite heavy. So just bear in mind that this will give weight to your card. So when you're sending something through the post, just remember the height and the weight makes a difference. And if it's too high or too heavy, yeah, your person will have to go and pay extra postage. And none of us want somebody who's, you know, grieving to have to go and pay extra postage at the post office. Now, I would attach this with glue, but I'm going to be very careful where I put it, because if you put glue onto the copper, it will show through. So you need to follow the path of the punch shape on the back. OK, so don't put it around the edges. And then we can just pop that down in the centre. Make sure it's straight. There we go. I think that's turned out all right, considering that was a... Who would know that that was a card with a little rip in the, in the paper? Well, only you guys. <laughs> so, there you are. Not such great lighting for you today. I don't know why. But I think that's come off okay, hasn't it? 
I think so, with a bit of copper shining in the background, a bit of copper on the front. So there we are. So today blooms just for you. Nice birthday card with these beautiful flowery uh, flowers and this gorgeous ribbon, which is really lush. And then a sympathy card with literally two bits of washi and only because I tore the corners, but I think it adds something. So I think I might have done that anyway. And then, uh, you know, stamping that in the centre. So hope you've liked today's moody Monday pick me up. I hope that um, your Monday is now less moody and that you've been picked up. So <laughs> we've had a laugh anyway, which is always good. So just to let you know, I'm making a slight change. OK, I am doing something different. So this won't be on my blog tomorrow. I've decided that I'm going to just do my Facebook lives in here. And if I post them to YouTube, they'll go whenever. Uh, tomorrow is a di completely different video. And so is Wednesday. So you'll get three videos from me a week, basically. Um, one on Facebook, two on YouTube. And the two on YouTube will be on my blog as well, just because that makes it easy for people to find. Uh, but obviously you can go hop over and subscribe to YouTube as well. But the Facebook ones, I'm going to put them on Facebook and then I'll pop them up onto YouTube at some point. But it won't necessarily be by tomorrow morning. So that just makes it a little, little bit less stressy for me because otherwise I do my Facebook live and then I'm like, right, I've got to download it, edit it, chop it get it right, put it all together, stick it up on face on YouTube, add a blog post. And it was all getting a little bit stressy and I don't do stress. So um, I just, you know, things need to be just happy and just working nicely. And I didn't think I was doing them well enough doing that. So they'll stay on here for the minute. I'll pop them up onto YouTube whenever. But in the meantime, I'll have be back tomorrow on YouTube and my blog with a new video and a new card for you. All right. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and um, you have a lovely week and I'll see you again next week. All right then. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Bye.